Hello friends. When a child is growing up, nutrition becomes significant in terms of weight gain, health and how active the child will be. But these can be hindered due to lack of oral development like sensory defensiveness in and around the mouth. The structures, oral structures like cheeks, jaw, lips, tongue, they are less functional any kind of digestive problems or a physical developmental delay. Let me share with you this amazing list of oral motor and oral sensory activities that will help in improving all these functions. An interesting oral sensory game could be tasting warm and cold things. So warm things could be like ketchup or cold things like trying to lick ice cubes or even frozen vegetables for that matter. Popping cheeks is something that kids enjoy a lot. First try just like this. Let the child pop your cheeks and later on you can try the same game with water in your mouth so that whenever the child tries to pop it, the water comes out. So it's a fun game. Musical instruments that require blowing are very interesting like harmonica, flute, I do need to go there, even whistle blowing. Allow the kid an opportunity to enjoy an oral motor game, which is actually chewing onto a chewing gum, but at the same time trying to make bubbles out of it. Show them how bubbles are made. Have you ever tried a spoon and lemon game with your child? You can try it between the teeth or between the lips for appropriate lip closure and then you can ask them to walk with it just to see how well they can balance it. Let your child brush in front of the mirror. That could actually be an issue. Take the brush, try to make funny sounds so that they feel it's a funny activity, not such a serious activity. You have to brush in the morning. It will be really fun. Straw drinking is also something many parents complain their children struggle with. So why don't you short, start with short straws, move on to longer straws and eventually go to the curved ones where the challenge increases. Also start with thinner liquids and move towards thicker liquids. Trying to blow a balloon and releasing the air on the child's face is such a fun activity. Not only the face, the child might be tactile defensive, touch defensive. So you can try it on the body parts or try on her own body parts, making different things blow under the pressure of the air. Could be another fun activity. Is this a good bubble blowing activity? No. This is. First, you do it so that the child runs after it and give the opportunity for your child to also try one. Blowing different kind of objects from your hand. For example, I just blew some cotton balls. But I can also try some feathers. It's also another blowing activity that your child can try. Don't tell me you have never tried this with your child. It's a fun activity where first you can allow your child to just blow bubbles in the water. Try to suck some water from it. Of course, you can initially try a short straw and later move on to a long one. Sounds from the mouth is another game that you can play, which also helps the child in moving the tongue and the different oral structures in directions like Why have you not tried this before? Because it is such a fun game. The child really looks at your tongue movements and wants to attempt the same. They will look in the mirror as a feedback to try these. Similarly, vowel sounds, like I mentioned in brushing before. Ah, uh, and then brushing the teeth. E, then brushing the teeth. O, and then eventually, so that the blowing part comes. Even practice some funny tongue movements like touching the nose, touching the chin, angles of the mouth, 
rolling the tongue inside or moving the tongue as fast as you can. Just try this game so that who stops first? The child finds these kind of games interesting and you can see the difference. Let me tell you this, these oral motor and oral sensory games that I mentioned not only help in improving the oral structures but also have a very calming effect, improve self-regulation of the child if they have a meltdown or a simple tantrum that the child has but also help in improving the attention and focus of the child. Try to use as many of these as possible to improve these functions in your child. If you think this video was informative, please like it Subscribe the channel for more information related to such videos and also make suggestions in the comments below for what kind of videos would you like me to cover in this channel of Road to Rehab. Ring the bell icon for notifications whenever my video is out. We'll meet again soon.